Alright, hey guys, back with another video, Jacob Staples here. So, I wanted to talk about, um, this is my new channel, so, first video on the channel. Um, so I was gonna, um, I didn't know what this video should be about, so I was like, hey, you know what, I just got a car, like, about a month ago, like, three weeks ago. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, um, make a video about my car, so that's what this video is gonna be about. So, my car is a 1991 Ford Ranger, and I'm 15, so I can drive to school and work. So, yeah, that's all I, I drive to. I don't even have a job yet. I'm trying to get one, sort of. So, I drive to school, though. Um, I will tell you guys the specs, I'll show you some pictures on the computer, and then um, I'll actually go out to the car, which is out in the driveway, and then I'll show you guys that. So, let's go. Alright guys, so sorry if the camera is a little shaky, I'm holding it with one hand, I'm trying to type with the other. So let's go, 91 Ford Ranger. Now I want you guys to know that I love cars, I'm a huge car guy, okay you can't see anything, but yeah, I'm a huge car guy, and um, Ford is probably my favorite car company, I love, uh, I like Nissan. Chevy's a good company, but it's just something about Ford. I know Ford. I know what they. Um, I know that they're reliable. I know what it's like to drive one. So I really like Ford. So I have nothing against other car companies. That's just how it is. So this is the car, the same year and everything. And um, okay, so yeah, these are the same year and everything as the truck that I have. This one actually looks really close, sort of, except for I don't have this thing right here. The um, back seats, so this is a little bit more accurate. Mine doesn't look as good as, like, this one's in really good condition, whereas mine isn't. Mine doesn't have four wheel drive, um, it leaks some oil. Uh, the AC's been out, <laughs> so yeah, it's got some problems, but I'll, I'll show you guys. Oh, wow, okay, so this one, man, you can't really see it, but basically, this one has, like, the exact same uh, color colors as the one that I have. Except for this one's been raised a little bit. But yeah, it's actually a really nice truck. I really like it. And the fact that it's mine is awesome. The Ranger um, was a great truck. You know, it's not a huge truck. And for me being 15, it's a pretty nice car for a 15-year-old to own. My grandpa actually gave it to me. So um, that's the cool part about it. So here's one that is like the exact same color, actually. That looks really close. But yeah, my grandpa gave it to me because um, when I was little, I just always wanted it. I always loved the truck itself. Something about trucks is just better than everything else. Um, so yeah, let's let's go outside and we'll um, take a look at the car. All right, guys. So here I'm outside. Here's the truck, and it might not be in focus. So as I get closer, I'll just do that. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna show the. Uh, license plate in this video because I'm not an idiot so I actually have the extended cab on this so that's a seven foot or not cab sorry it's extended bed so that's a seven foot bed right there um, here's the uh, door and the lighting is horrible right now there's the Ranger logo right there which is awesome um, it's got some paint right there you can see the paint where Go up front, there's the Ford symbol, all that. Um, yes, my uh, side mirrors are being held on by electrical tape, which is, yes, I know a little strange, but I don't know what my grandpa was up to, but that's what he did, and he's actually a really smart guy. He used to be an engineer, so um, this is just what he did to the truck he did some modifications I made some modifications of my own actually this thing right here on this back window right here gotta get it in focus sorry guys okay so this thing right here um, as you can see kind of right here rain would get through there so I put this on to um, keep rain from getting inside the truck which before it didn't really get inside the truck but I accidentally left this window open right here one time and it got really wet and yeah, so this is the back. I'm gonna um, not show you guys the license plate. Oh, something's on my sock. Okay. All right, so I'm like trying to keep the uh, license plate out of this frame right here, but basically I'm gonna go over. And uh, these are the bumper stickers that I have on the back. 
This one right here is my church one, and then this one right here is Led Zeppelin, you know, great band, amazing band. There's the I have Ford, and um, the older cars actually have the Ford symbol right here, instead of being right here, this door. Um, that's where it was bought, I guess. And then this side, there's nothing. A license plate, obviously. So I'm gonna go get the keys and we'll go inside the truck. Okay, so I forgot the keys inside the house, so I had to run in and go get them. So now we're gonna go inside the truck, take a look at this thing, the inside. And I don't have a fob. Oh, what? Oh, wrong key. Whoops. Alright. So over here, we got the um, unlock, unlock the door, you know, and then we got the window. This is one of the old window. See, you can see it there. It's coming down. Do that. Um, got the gloves. Uh, let's see what else is down there. Um, <laughs> lighter, knife, um, screwdrivers, a wrench. You know, you never know what you might need to keep that stuff in here. Uh, the steering wheel with the Ford logo right there. Wow, the lighting just dropped horribly. Gotta make sure it's in focus. Okay, so there's the Ford. Um, your lights, there's your brake down there. Um, so your clutch, brake, gas. I'm pretty sure that's the fuse panel down there. Yeah, it's the fuse panel. And then, um, so let's sit down. Let's close this thing. So this light up here comes on. Every single time the door is open. Okay, so here's the um. All the um. Odometers and the speedometers and all that stuff. Um, as you can see, it only goes up to 85. And actually, in this truck, if you get it up to like 75, the whole truck's just starts shaking and it's not good. I'm gonna open the window because it is dang hot in here. Ugh. Okay, so, yes, it is a stick shift. I love the fact that it's a stick shift. It's one of my favorite parts of this car. Um, AC is broken, so that kind of sucks. I never use that. Just got your basic FM AM radio right there with, um, this is kind of cool. I've never seen this inside of a car before like this. You can, like, control the bass, the treble, all that stuff. Um, it's got a cassette player, which kind of works. Um, makes some weird noises. So, um, actually the AC is broken, but the, the fan will still work. So, like, it'll blow air. It just won't get cold. It has heat, though. So, in here is just all your, your stuff. I don't know what that was and what just happened. I think that was... Well, it's a pen. Okay. Anyway. Um, Ford Ranger owner's manual. So, yeah, this is the entire... Same thing over there. So, I don't have anything in that holder over there. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys this right here. Just your phone charger, you know, uh, cigarette lighter, all that stuff. So, yeah, let's start her up. Alright, so yeah, it's got just, you know, two seats. Um, so back here is some extra space and some stuff that my grandpa gave me. Oh, I got one. Okay, so that, some rope. Can't really see back here. There's not too much space back here. So yeah, there's not too much space back here in terms of um, things you can hold. But you got, I got some straps right there just to hold stuff down, some rope. And then... Right down here, we've got some more rope. Um, this is another strap. So you got your window thing for in the snow. Some extra um, windshield wipers, things. I got a chain down there. I actually have a flashlight, a giant flashlight that you plug into the cigarette lighter, and it is the brightest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. My grandpa actually gave me that. Whoa, 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 camera. Let's tighten this. Alright, yeah, but no, that's uh, something that my grandpa gave me, so we'll go on the other side and I'll show you the other side of that, um, so, oh, locked, but yeah, it's a 
a real nice truck. I love having this thing. Okay. And this side also has electrical tape holding it up. Okay, so let's go. This store is a little stiffer, it seems like. My dad actually just hauled a piano in this thing yesterday. So these are, um, yes, I have a purse. I have a leather purse. Um, no, that's, I keep um, the starter cables in there. So yeah, there's the chain. These are the speakers for the stereo. The stereo is actually pretty loud, but I want to get a new one put in so I can like have the aux cord and all that stuff. Seatbelts are pretty good. Honestly, the car's pretty dirty. I should have put out a disclaimer. One thing that really sucks about this car is that there's no cup holders. You have to put whatever beverage you have up here and just hope it doesn't spill. Or just hold it, I guess. Um, so, let's take a look at the engine. Okay, so in terms of engine size, it's got a 2.3 liter V4 engine. So it's not a big engine at all, but it's got some power. It's actually got some pretty good power. It doesn't go super fast, but in terms of an old truck, this is a 25 year old truck, it's actually got some really good power. So that's awesome, I think, uh, for how big and how old it is. I love old cars. There's actually an old truck way down there. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. So yeah, there's an old truck down there. You know, that's a pretty nice truck. That's a Chevy. I see him drive it. The, there's a house over there. You can't really see it right now, but um, they actually have like a Ford, like a 1974, and it's actually really cool. But yeah, um, so not a huge engine. Leaks oil, like I've already mentioned. So I have to keep cardboard in our driveway, and then everywhere else I go, I just let it drip because uh, I don't really, really care that much. And then um. Whoa, my camera's making some weird noises. Uh, but no. Um, other than that, you know, it's a pretty nice car. It's only got two seats, but who cares? I'm the only one that's ever in it. And I get my license in like eight months, something like that. So when I get that, I'll just be driving anywhere I want. That'll be awesome. So I'll show you guys the engine in a second. All right, so here's the engine, guys. It's actually... um pretty clean for how old it is 25 years so it's not as you can see it's not huge at all but like I said it's also got some power so yeah that about wraps it up for this video um, see you guys um, upstairs I'm gonna go talk a little bit more but yeah it's a really nice car. And, uh, it's a Ranger can't go wrong with Ford you know what I mean all right guys so I was thinking about um, what I hadn't said at the end of the video when we were outside. Uh, a couple things. Number one is that that car is awesome. I drive to school, you know. I also, um, uh, I nicknamed it El Diablo. <laughs> El Diablo, um, because all, all the friends at my, uh, my church, we, uh, nickname our cars. Well, we don't all nickname our cars, but, like, few of us have and um my friend he was like hey you should come with a new name for yours and so at first it was La Fonda from uh Napoleon Dynamite great movie that was just supposed to be as a joke but then I thought you know I need something like really cool so I know that El Diablo which I might come up with a new name sometime but uh I have no idea so um other thing I was gonna say is that uh me and Nico you guys know his channel I don't even know if I'm in frame um you guys know his channel and We've been working on a lot of videos. We did a reaction yesterday uh, to Rice Gums. One of Rice Gums diss tracks on Tanner Fox, which um, it's hilarious. You should go watch it. Go check it out. Um, the other thing is that um, we did a uh, challenge video that we're going to be uploading soon enough. And you guys should definitely go check it out. It's a one-of-a-kind um, challenge. Never, I've never seen anything like it before, so it'll definitely be pretty cool um, what, um, I want to hear like feedback as to what you guys thought about this video I know it's my first one on my new channel but um, I had an old channel um, here's a clip from it and um, that was uh, it was doing alright but I just thought I need something new I need something fresh so I started a new channel this is the, uh, first video on that channel just tell me what you guys think I really just want to get to know um, 
I really want to, you know, I like YouTube, I love YouTube, but I really want to start doing it, and that's, it's kind of like my passion in a way, I love watching YouTube videos, so just, you know, hit me with a like, follow me on Twitter, anything like that, and just, um, tell me what you guys think, um, I guess that's the end, so, catch you guys next time. Please don't fall over camera.